2009, 12 million citizens had moved from their member state to another one. The principle of free movement, a cornerstone of EU policy, allows them to do that. But in practice, it's much easier to move goods than people because of the legal and administrative barriers families face. This week, MEPs invited legal experts and national parliamentarians to discuss how to make life easier for European families starting a new life abroad. It is a tricky subject, touching on issues that are tightly linked to the specific culture of each European member state. There are major differences in the way marriages, civil partnerships, parental responsibilities of divorced couples or inheritance rules are managed. Which country's court gets to decide on custody of children when their parents divorce and live in different countries, for example? Currently, there is no hard and fast rule, and one court's judgment may not apply in another member state. But the entry into force of the Lisbon Treaty has given EU institutions a greater role in the area of family law. Since now we do have the new treaty, since we have inside of this treaty the Charter of Fundamental Rights, we have the obligation and the possibility in legal terms to go ahead in order to make the life for our citizens more easy, more natural, wherever they are and whenever they decide to settle in another member state. It is thanks to the new treaty that we can advance. It is thanks to the new treaty that this Europe will change. It will not only be an economic and financial space, it will be also a space for the men and the women. It's an area MEPs feel demonstrates their will to put EU citizens at the heart of EU policy making. Klaus Heiner Lehne, chairman of the Legal Affairs Committee that organised the debate, says it's an area in which the EU's impact on people's lives is made evident. This is something where I personally believe that there's a direct impact in favour of the people. This is not a theoretical discussion that very often happens as well on the European level. This has a strong, very important practical impact. I think we have to do something because European is, Europe is growing, to, is growing together, the people can move and because the people can move it is necessary that we have some common rules and that we have clear rules, watch which law is in charge and which is the applicable law. A recent Eurobarometer study says two-thirds of Europeans think the EU should take initiatives in family law. But getting 27 member states to agree common laws, when in some member states same-sex marriage is not recognised, and in others it is, for example, is a process that has stalled progress on previous initiatives. Polish MEP Tadeusz Zwiewka wrote a recommendation adopted by Parliament in June that aimed to simplify international divorces and separations. It suggested a type of enhanced cooperation between member states in this area of family law. It will be the first time in the EU that this kind of cooperation will be implemented. Now in this, uh, in this um, case we have 14 uh, member states uh, in enhanced cooperation. They decide about a uh, specified uh, subject uh, which is um, implemented to the uh, national law only in these countries which are in, uh, in the instrument of enhanced cooperation. Uh, I expect that in uh, not long time uh, more uh, member states will uh, enjoy uh, this instrument. The proposal could serve as a model for greater cooperation in other areas of family law as well. It leaves member states free to decide on their own legislation, but opens areas where lives of European families can be made considerably easier when a number of countries agree on certain topics. The idea of asking member states to recognise each other's legal documents in certain areas is another proposal the Commission is already working on. A European Certificate of Succession, for example, will aim to confirm the rights of heirs across member states. Mr Zwiefka said many of the proposals given by experts at the debate were an excellent basis for continuing work in the European Parliament, but he emphasised the importance of cooperation with national parliaments. I hope that some of proposals we will work in the uh, Legal Affairs Committee uh, and then, of course, uh, with, um, uh, with colleagues from, from national parliaments. The Commission is due to table new proposals on facilitating life for European families next year and Viviane Redding told MEPs that she would take a lot away from this debate. We'll be keeping you up to date on new developments on eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching.